it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. In this video, I'm going to be asking you guys all a very simple question. Will Rob Cross be the world number one in the next 18 months? He is now up to world number three after just his first debut year on the PDC Tour. It is insane. It's the best start to a season that anybody has ever had. He has won three players' championships. He's had big runs in televised tournaments. He's put MVG out at a semi-final on the biggest stage of all to go on and beat Phil Taylor, the legend, and become the world starts champion for 2018 at the Alley Pally. It's insane what this guy has done. Rob Cross is a lot of things. He's a winner. He's confident in his own ability. He's ambitious. And he... You know, being world number three, I remember after his semi-final when he put MVG out and they were interviewing him and they said to Rob Cross, you know, you know up to world number three, what does that mean to you? And he said, it means nothing. It means nothing until I'm world number one. He's, he's a winner. He's just like what Taylor said in his interview years ago. He is him, to, you know, he wants to be world number one. They then went on to him and said, oh, you know, Phil Taylor and Barney and all these people are saying lovely things about you. Rob Cross's answer, again, it was brilliant, was... Oh, it's all very nice them saying it about me, but I've got to go and perform. I love it. The, you know, the way he breaks his game down, the way he evaluates what he's done, where he's gone wrong, where he can put it right, where he's going to sleep, where he's going to be. Rob Cross is a winner. I think that Rob Cross, in the next 18 months, will be the world number one. Again, going back to Van Gerwen, when they said to him in his interview, um, and when he went through in the quarterfinals, they said, oh, you've got Rob Cross next. He knows how difficult Rob Cross is. Of course, MVG is a, is a mind-blowing player. And we needed somebody like Rob Voltage Cross to come in to compete with MVG. And when he was asked at the court, he said, oh, yeah, but he's not beat me on stage yet. Well, do you know what? Rob Cross did. And he'd done it in an epic bloody semi-final. But has MVG now unleashed an animal? A winner. Somebody that is going to go on and MVG now in every single tournament. I do not want to meet Rob Cross. I do not want to meet Rob Cross. You know, he's always going to have that back, you know, in the back of his mind. If MVG do not play to his best, Rob Cross will beat him. And he's done it on the bigger stage at all. So it doesn't matter whether you're at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool or whether you're at the match or wherever you are, whatever tournament in the world, he'll always have that in his mind. Of course I'm not writing MVG off because he's an awesome player. But Rob Cross is here to do some damage. I am telling you, he put ta he, he, he put the power out, didn't he, in, in the final. It was incredible. Let's have a little look. I've got some information here. It's from the PDC website. And let's have a look at what they say about his year since um, coming on. Because I know it all started from when his uncle gave him a bit of a kick up the backside, I think, to go. He went to a Riley's qualifier in Norwich, and it all started from there. But let's have a look. This is what the PDC say, um, have said on their website. Rob's incredible impact on the PDC circuit saw him complete his first full year as a professional with his stunning triumph in the William Hill Dance World Final. Originally an amateur qualifier for the 2016 UK Open, the Sussex-based electrician defeated Ken McNeil, Wes Newton and Geoffrey de Graff to reach the last 32, where it took a 9 data and 2170 checkouts for MVG to beat him. Following that experience, Cross joined the PDC Unicorn Challenge Tour and he won three tournaments and reached two other finals and landed a 9 data as his success on the second tier tour earned him a PDC tour card for 2017-18. Cross's transition to the professional circuit began with qualification for another UK Open before he won his first full ranking event at a Players Championship in just March 2017. Runs to three successive European Tour quarterfinals were followed by a second Players Championship victory in May before Cross made his world match play debut in July. Two further players' championship wins followed before Cross's quality was shown with a run to the European Championship final where again it was denied by Magda Van Gerwen. The pair would then clash again on the big stage during Cross's debut run at the World Championship but obviously, as we all know, this time Cross beat him. So just looking at that, you know, we're looking at um, 2016 he won three PDC Challenge Tours, 2017 four players' championships and the 2018 World Championship darts final which is epic. Now I can go on and on and on and on and on and I'll bore you all to death, which I don't want to do because I want you to keep coming back and watching my videos. But do hover on the video, click on the eye, vote whether you think Rob Cross will be um, the world number one in the next 18 months with just a simple yes or no. 
As always guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a big fat like and don't forget to subscribe. Check out dartsplanet.tv and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.